Hey guys, how's it going? Random Andrew here. Adventures with Random Mum today. We're down in Highgate, Ontario. This is in southwestern Ontario, Canada, obviously. Canada, eh? And we're standing out front of something actually kind of magnificent when you start to learn who it was rededicated to. It's a center for entertainment. Bands have played here, information sessions. It's kind of like the local meeting hub. And what it was, was actually kind of classic. If you caught the last vlog showing Highgate, then you will have heard me mention this place and said you'll have to tune in to watch it. Well, now you're here to watch it. Right now we're standing out front of the Mary Webb Center. There you go. has a website for you to look up if you're curious and you want to know a little bit more about what they do here and what kind of venues they got going on. Right now they're doing some construction and some adding on. So I guess we'll start over here. Well, they, uh, they're putting in an elevator so everybody can attend and see the concerts and the art shows. If you could see it very well through the fence, it's a beautiful carving. The Mary Webb Center and it has some very important dates first one starting with 1834 in case you can't see that 1848 1849 18 61s oh the different states of the church are above the date yeah okay well hang on a second okay can you guys see that a little more clear just for an example it shows the different states of the church by each of those dates so you can see the dates and the states of the church there because it did start there you go. Has a church before it was the Mary Webb Center or whatever it was before the Mary Webb Center. But there's a great story behind this lady, Mary Webb, who I'm going to let my mom explain very shortly here. Uh, I want to point out these cornerstones, dedication blocks, Ladies Aid Society. It says on the other side, if you could see that, look up, lift up. This tells who the architect and who the builder was. Hello. Hello. Hope you don't mind us doing this. My son is a vlogger on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got all kinds of dedication blocks in there. It's very awesome. Right here, let's try and zoom in and get a better shot for you. This is Meth Methodist 1898 Church. So it's that's... Yes. Yeah. It's been rebuilt a few times. Now, I wish I could be as informative as some other vloggers. But you'll find out more I'm sure. Well, it's just kind of one of these places where we're lucky to have any information on them at all. Well, without every... having an internet connection in my hand, you know? I By the way, every place that I've moved to, so. my internet connection is zip right now. <laughs> my phone did not want to hold a charge at all if it got to replace my iPhone. So on the go information. Mom knows a bit of the history though, so whenever she wants to explain it... Okay, um, back in the day, there was a woman named Mary Webb Goslow, I believe, and she secured the land that eventually became Highgate and all the surrounding area by walking on foot, step by step, all the way from her property, which is just west of here. Long ways Can't west. <laughs> all the way to Toronto, on foot and walk all the way back. It said that she went through several pairs of shoes doing so and it took her months to accomplish. And in recognition of her, they've turned this fine church into an arts and entertainment center. The thing is, it's anybody can go in when it's open. It's beautiful inside. Well, yeah, churches generally were like that, but this is now a, a center. Look at that stained glass up there, too. Yeah. See if we can't get the viewers a little closer shot of that. There we go. Well, it's a shame they're tearing down so many old buildings like this because no one wants to do the upkeep. And it gets quite extensive, quite Wonder. expensive to do. Too. Could you actually get up in that tower? Oh. <laughs> See that peak way up top? Yeah, those were uh, a lot of the towers you see on old buildings were during the War of 1812. They had to have bookends. Yeah, 
this would have been a crossroads during that time. Against the Americans, against hostile uh, neighbors. <laughs> and a lot of the houses here, the, the larger ones, like I know this is somebody's property, but I had to show you guys. What a beautiful property, beautiful house. You see lots like that down here. I'm noticing up in what may have been the bell tower, you can see speakers up in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if they chime the speakers. It says coming in, we're open. Well, I don't think they are, but... I know, we, we do have things to be getting going to. And if we filmed everything right now today, then we'd have nothing to show you guys another day. But curiosity, right? Yeah, it's locked. Ah, okay. Curiosity always gets this cat. All right, well, there you go, folks. The Mary Webb Center, originally a Methodist church, renamed for a lady who walked, I'd have to say at least 300 kilometers, maybe 300 miles, 350 kilometers, whatever it works out to be. It would have taken her days, maybe a week to walk down there and back. But for her accomplishments and helping in settlement of this town, Highgate, she had this, this whole place. It's the Mary Webb Center for her. So thank you for watching. I hope the video was for it fairly informative, you know, and like I said, random mom is going to be living down here now. So you will get a chance to see the inside of this place okay. sooner or later. We'll make sure we get some video in there, a nice little tour or something. Thanks for tuning in guys. Think positive, stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. If you like today's video, click like. If you're into this kind of stuff, uh, oh, take two. <laughs> If you like today's video, please subscribe for more. Throw me a like, thumbs up, and share, because sharing is good. We'll see you guys later. Log over.